This is my 12th floss tube video. My name is Veronica. Thank you for joining me. In this video, I'm going to tell you some updates or show you some updates on some of my cross stitch projects. And I'm also going to uh, share with you some life updates, which you know you don't have to stick around for if you don't want to. Um, first of all, welcome if you're new. Thanks for joining me. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, and so I'll get right into it. Um, for my cross stitch stuff purchases, I have um, one thing to show you. I I purchased some things on a recent sale that everything cross stitch had, and um, the other things that I, I don't want to show you because I plan to stitch them as gifts. So what I'll do is um, is record a little video when I'm done with them. I haven't started them yet, but when I'm done with them and save that for after I give the gift because I, I'm not sure if the people who will be receiving the gift will are watching my videos and I don't want to spoil the surprise. But this is the one that I do want to show you because it's just adding to my collection of Mirabilia charts. This is um, uh, Aphrodite Mermaid. So I think she's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> that's the only one. Uh, so cross stitch project updates. I have two two works in progress to show you that I've done since my last video. Um, the first, if you've been following me on Instagram, these won't be surprises to you, but my Instagram is vdancer0304. It's also in the description box below. Um, the first one I want to show you is The Castle by Teresa Wensler, which is, I'm, I'm stitching the one out of the, the best of Teresa Wensler fantasy collection. This is what it will look like when it's done. And <clears throat> so here's where it looked like in my last video. Here's where I am now. So I'm working on the right hand side in the middle as far as top to bottom goes. This is on a 36 count Mercedes Lugana by Picture This Plus. I had ordered 32 count and in my, one of my prior videos I talk about this a little bit. Um, but I started stitching on it, realized the holes are tiny and the stitches are tiny and measured it and it must be 36 count. But that's okay because there are no beads. Um, so I'm okay with that. I just had to get used to the slightly smaller stitches and once I did I, I'm liking the way that it looks. So I'll have a lot of extra fabric too so maybe I can do something interesting with the finishing of it. We'll see. The other work in progress that I've been working on in it is um is my Stargazer by Mirabilia. I um I'm stitching this throughout the month of May. I started it actually in late April. Again, I mean I didn't I re I started it for my birthday. I started on March 1st. Um, my birthday is March 4th. I started a few things around then. If you watch my last videos, if you haven't already, if, um, to see more about what I was doing there. Um, <clears throat> I, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm stitching this throughout the month of May for monogamous mania, mirabilia mania, and, um, today is May 11th, so we're like only a third into the month right now. But here's where I was in my last video. And here's where it is now. So I, I reached the halfway point on the chart, but there are a lot of stitches in it, so it's definitely not the halfway point in the amount of work that has to go in. I'm saving all the beads for the end, um, just because I seem to like doing that. I don't know. I don't think I have to with the scroll frames, but I kind of like doing it that way. Um, I haven't had much stitching time, so there's not a lot to show you. Uh, life's been really, really busy right now. Um, it's not like the winter when I was working on Portrait of Veronica and there were some snow days where I could spend, you know, five, six hours in a day stitching. I, some days I don't stitch at all because I just have too much going on. Um, so that's all I have for my cross stitch stuff. If that's all you came here for, um, you're welcome to 
to depart now, so bye. <laughs> um, life updates. Um, so I've, I've been, or had been, I'm finished an audiobook. It's really short. Called uh, It's an older one called The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. And if you watch some of my older videos, you'll know I'm very skeptical of things. So I had some trouble accepting it, but I also think there might be something to it. I'm going to try not to give away what the secret is in case you haven't read it and want to, but I think if everybody thought like this, we'd probably still have a better world. So I think there's something to it, um, but I, I have trouble buying into the whole premise of the book. So anyway, should be, it's, it's interesting though, if you haven't read it or listened to it, I think there's a movie as well. The audiobook's really good though, because it's not just like a typical audiobook where somebody is reading it, the really good audiobook um, actors or whatever will like talk up through the voices and they do a really good job of it. This one she actually has, it's like listening to a movie. You've got like sound effects, you've got different people talking. Um, so so I, I, I still recommend it even though, like I said, think about it critically <laughs> and, um, and it's still enjoyable and um, you'll feel really good after you listen to it or read it or watch it. I can't say that because I haven't watched the movie, but I might try that. <clears throat> Um, other things that have been going on, I um, I was doing Weight Watchers. I stopped, and I'm trying the keto thing now. Um, so far, it's kind of working. I'm, I'm watching a lot of the videos from Dr. Eric Berg, who like talks about healthy keto, and I've, I've read some other similar authors before, and um, I like the way I feel and stuff, even though I haven't lost much more weight yet, but hopefully I will. I still want to lose about 20 more pounds, and... Other life updates. Uh, so for the past three weeks, I had been wearing my glasses. Um, and I talked about this a little in my last video too. I'm going for the Vizian ICL surgery uh, in, uh, I've scheduled a date now as of yesterday, July 2nd. Yesterday I went for my pre-op exam and I had to wear my glasses a long time prior to that because contact lenses, um, they they kind of reshape the cornea a little bit. And they need to, it, my corneas needed to get back to um, their normal shape so they could take all kinds of measurements on my eye. I'm thinking about doing a separate video for that surgery because I've been following or watching a lot of other videos of people who have had it done and I find them incredibly helpful and I just want to contribute to that as well. It won't be a, it won't be a floss tube video, it'll just be like a you know, my life experience type blog um, or vlog. <laughs> If you are easily grossed out, don't watch it because I'll probably be talking about what they're doing to my eyeballs. Um, so, and you might see videos of me with glasses on and that too, which I'm very self-conscious because my prescription is super strong. Like I don't qualify for LASIK. Um, so I'm, I'm self-conscious of my glasses. I can't wear like the, the cute little glasses that, you know, most people can wear because my uh, lenses need to be so thick. And my vision is, is terrible with glasses. Everything looks tiny and it's still really hard to see. I have no peripheral vision. Um, so that's why I prefer my contacts. If I could wear cute glasses, I'd probably prefer glasses just because I'm vain. But <laughs> yeah, um, that's all I have. Um, in the month of June, no, this is not, this is going back to cross stitch stuff. So if people left, they would have missed this. But uh, when I, I don't seem to mind the, the monogamous stitching, but I do want to, you know, get back to some of my other projects. So I'll probably spin a wheel and, you know, just pick something else to work on just to break it up a little bit with the stargazer. But I'm enjoying it right now. Um, I'm not sure when I'll shoot another video. Maybe in a few weeks, maybe near the end of May, because there's just a lot going on. My weekends now have to be... Um, a lot of yard work. There was there. I feel like there's there's a little more time in the winter, even though I, I want to sleep more. Like I want to hibernate. <laughs> I don't want to sleep as much in the summer, but there's a lot more work to be done. So not as much stitchy time. Anyways, that's all. Always think critically. Thanks for joining me. If you like what you're watching, please subscribe. Uh, there's more information on my projects in the description box below. And with that, I will see you next time. Bye.